Hello everybody and welcome back to this new video. Today we're going to be talking about the Linux outdated box that has just come out this week from CyberStack Labs, of course, and let's get into the Nmap scan. So we run, run an Nmap scan on all ports and we find that port 21 is open, which is FTP, uh, which runs pro FTP. Then we have SSH open, we have 111 open, which is port mapper, which is a protocol, um, I believe, for Linux systems to, uh, to talk in between with each other. And then we have NFS, which is a network file system, which is always when that is open, it's always the first thing I check. So let's check that. We can check that with show mount dash E for export and then the IP address 31.122. So this is going to show us um, directories we can mount or directories certain IP addresses can mount. So we can mount any IP address can mount slash var slash NFS backups. So let's mount that. So we're going to do mount dash type NFS, then we enter the IP address, the location to mount slash var slash NFS backups, that's not NFS, NFS backups, and then we specify the local location to mount that to, which I'm also going to pick NFS backups for this. So let's run that. And now we can go to slash mount slash nfs backups and we can see we have three folders here anna daniel and robert let's do an ls dash lar to see if any of them have any files and it doesn't look like any of them have any files so then let's move on back to nmap then we had some higher ports that that uh, are usually not anything but then we have this ftp uh, and Nmap didn't say unauthorized login was available, so that's not a thing, but we can Google this version, uh, see if there's an exploit for this. So let's do search exploit on this version. And we notice, yes, there is an exploit. There's even a Metasploit exploit. So we have Metasploit open here. So let's search for this. And we have this mod copy exec, which was this. Let's, uh, let's see if we can use that. And we can show options. And we'll notice here that this requires uh, an HTTP port to complete, which we don't have. So we can't really do anything with that. But of course, the FTP server is still exploitable. So let's take a look at one of these exploits here. So we're going to do dash W here. So we get a link and then we can take a look at this one and at this one. So let's see. Okay, this is the Metasploit module, which I'm not really interested in. Okay, this one is short, it's Python, so let's see what this does. So this also requires yeah, the server, a directory, and a command. Uh, is there any information on this? So it seems like it's going to connect with the, with the server on FTP. Then it's going to send site, copy from, at cpasswd, and then site, copy to, and then uh, a directory, I guess. So let's so let's try that out. So let's see if we can get that working. So we're gonna do netcat to connect with the server. Uh, we have to specify a port, and then we're gonna do site copy from etsy passwd, and then site copy to, and now we have to specify a directory to copy to. Let, let's just see if we can copy to slash. Oh, slash is a directory so that we cannot do that let's see if we can copy from again and then do site copy to slash uh, passwd permission denied for the copy to so i don't think we have permissions in slash to do this but we have a we have a folder here uh, slash var slash nfs backups where we can read files so what if we try to copy this from at cpasswd um, that's a bad copy. So we copy this from. Oh, it's not liking this today. Okay, there we go. And then we do site copy to slash var slash nfs uh, backups slash uh, passwd. That's successful. So let's see if we can access that file now. Yes, we can. So now down here, we can read. The passwd file. 
we see there's a user Daniel and and that's about it and that's about it so we have the user Daniel now that makes you wonder well maybe we can also copy from that user's home directory and just copy that whole home directory so let's see if we can copy from slash home slash Daniel and then site copy to slash far slash NFS backups and let's call this Daniel copy successful now if we ls cd to Daniel we can see that we have access to his directory here and we also have access to access.txt read permissions on it we also have this SSH folder so let's go into the SSH folder and we have this public this uh, private key pair so let's uh, copy that private key locally and see if we can uh, use it to log in here so we're gonna copy id rsa uh, to here and then we'll ssh in so ssh dash, dash i with the private key then daniel at and then the ip invalid format it says but it still works um, but if you want to fix that then you got to do chmod 600 on id rsa and now i believe oh we'll still get invalid format um, but pretty much I think the key already had the correct per, uh, permissions in here but uh, if you get, ever get a private key that doesn't have the correct permissions you have to set the permissions 600 on them for them to work to log it on SSH but now we have SSH access so what will we do well, 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 what will we want to do now we want to enumerate some more so let's um, oh I want to make this smaller so let's um, put limpies on the box and run it so we're gonna cd slash opt and privilege escalation scripts uh, limpies. So in here I have my limpies.sh and let's use scopy to copy that file over. So we're gonna do dash i to get uh, the, the private key outdated id underscore rsa. Then the file we want to copy which is limpies.sh and then we want to copy it to daniel at the ip and then just to his home directory. So that's copying, that worked. If you do an ls, we have the file now. So now we can run limpies.sh and that's very, very big. And immediately we see, oh, that's a lot of output always. Immediately we see we have a Linux version that might be vulnerable. So that's 3.13.0. And, and uh, for Linux versions, if there's a kernel exploit, I really like this. Um, this github uh, kernel exploits so let's see if we have something for 3.13.0 uh, so we have a match here for overlay fs so let's check that out so overlay fs this is a cve so you can look a little bit more into the cve here we have uh, this from cve details uh, so the overlay fs implementation in linux doesn't properly check permissions for file creation so that's what this exploit is going to exploit and then we even have a compiled binary here or although that link doesn't guide to the compiled binary maybe if i remove .c yeah that works okay so we can download this compiled binary save it on our box here and then we can upload that to the machine so let's uh see um, well yeah, let's cd back to this, uh, to my good directory there, documents, uh, learn, cybersec labs, and then outdate it. And then we can s copy again. This time we want to s copy uh, OFS, OFS64 to Daniel. Okay, so that. That worked. Let's see if we have it here. We do have it. So let's give ourselves execute permissions on this binary. And let's run it. We can see that we get a shell back as root. So we are now root. And that was this box. Uh, it was a really good box to show that uh, a lot of servers, a lot of software is running on outdated versions and people forget to update their software. Uh, always update software if you're ever working in a blue team environment and then that's that's the whole 
thing that this box is trying to teach and I think it, th it did it very well and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them below in the comments and I hope to see you back in the next one.